I feel like the long sleeve thing, it, honestly, like when I see more just t-shirt long sleeves, I see guys wear. Let's we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to Hey Man. I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. Hey man. Hey man, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Repping that long sleeve giddy up. Yeah, you know I am. Hey, look, it you know, if you know, you know. But if you don't, come to a show and find out. Guys, we're here um at a studio in Vegas. We're still waiting for my for the studio at the house to get built. This is Last week we shot uh, a podcast here in Vegas that nobody is ever going to see. It no. was, and by the way, it was the best one we've ever done. It was no, uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. no, it was it was a good one though. We had a bunch of fun. Yeah, um, but you st- was last week the, the week you started, started the, the sneaker shoes? thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't wear any specifically good sneakers today because I figured I would come out and I would uh, I would first apologize to the the, the Croc wearers of the world. Um, I talked a lot of shit for a long time. I take all of it back. They are something I wear at, 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 at probably every day, and I got them on right now. Um, Why don't you tell? What are those called? Giblets? What are those called? <laughs> They're called gibbets. <laughs> I wonder if you're ever going to get that right. I don't think you're ever going to get that right. Tell everybody the, the gib the <laughs> what the fuck is it called again? We'll just call them giblets. Giblets. Um. What do you got? So I, these were, you know, these were obviously a gift from my girlfriend. By, by the way, let's tell everybody you want to do some sort of sneaker thing at the yeah. top of every show. Yeah, top of every show, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big sneakerhead. Uh, it's something that I've. It's an unfortunate and expensive addiction that I've gotten into. And yes, I'm pointing with my shoe. What? Um, uh, I, you got me those shattered backboards. Yeah, we found you some shattered backboards. We found you those reimagined uh, white cement threes, which oh, are. I- Fire, love, love them. Um, and I got a pair of the Wizard colorway threes this weekend as From well. Cam, what's the name of his company? Cam Humber. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so sorry, Cam. Cam. I'm so sorry. It's it's Lux. Lux buy something. Mm, he's not gonna be happy. About no, that. he's not. <laughs> Looks by Cam, something. Cam, we still love you. He's located in uh, Ch- Charleston. No, what, what? Definitely not Charleston. Where is he? he? Was he said he was an hour from Raleigh? Green something. Greensboro. Greensboro. That's where it is. I was close, kinda, not yeah, really. Dude, you're fucking, you're <laughs> fucking up his business. I did fuck that up. Show everybody the giblets you got. Um, so I got a couple. Like I, I have one that's only like Disney, Disney related. So I'm a, my dad knows this. I'm a ginormous Winnie the Pooh fan. Uh, no Scooby Doo on there though, huh? No, no Scooby Doo giblets. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. Um, I have become a large Lightning McQueen fan in the last what is year. what is that? What is Lightning McQueen? Lightning. Mc- from cars? Never seen one of the cars. That is disappointing. Uh, I'm a grown man. Hey, man, look, just because the you're a grown man. What am I going to cars for? <laughs> I'm a grown up. You never watched it? You didn't watch it with the kids? The, with the, you guys? No, the grandkids. Oh, maybe they're not in that phase yet. No, they're not in that phase yet. They, they were... Anywho, Lightning McQueen is one of the stars in cars. Ka-chow. Can I um, say something? <laughs> it's so funny to me. People will say that. Like, you never saw, what was it, Mo- Moa? Uh, Moana. Oh, Moana. Yeah, you know. I'm like, I'm like, no. And they're like, why not? I'm like, because no. I'm a fucking grown up. No, I don't go to. Oh, no. I went with you guys when you were kids. Uh-huh. You think I'm gonna walk in as a grown You've human? You've seen up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Shut up. <laughs> but I, but <laughs> no. I saw it at the house, not in the thing. Look, just because your age doesn't mean you can't watch Disney or Pixar films. Look, there's a no, lot no, of good. No, 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 there's no, a no, lot no. of good. It's just like grown people going to Disneyland without kids. That is. Hey, whoa. Nah. But you're not a grown person. Whoa, whoa. That's you're, two shots yeah. in a row. What? The, what's going I on? I mean, you're grown up, but like 26. Listen, I'd still be okay with you wearing game jerseys, like a team's jersey to a game. But once you hit a per- certain age, 35, 40, you can't be wearing like a like a Raiders jersey to the game. They're not putting you in, bro. Yeah, I will also not, say, that's once, not, once you hit 18, you can't bring a baseball glove to the park anymore. Like, you're catching that okay. shit with your bare hands. Okay. Like, that's one thing I yep. definitely agree with as well. Like, But I'm, I go with that. I go with... I, I go with animated films. I'm gonna have to enjoy them at the house. If that, I enjoy, that's it. fine. That's fine. But but in Disneyland, I'm either going with kids or grandkids. But at my age, what am I riding on the teacups? No, no. I, look, I, that's that's fair. But that doesn't mean you still can't watch Disney films, which doesn't have you don't have to go so, to Disneyland for that. I would feel that. so weird walking into that theater by myself. That's you. Just, we just said and established that you don't have to watch it in theater. They all come out on Disney Plus, and you asked me for my Disney Plus to watch what Disney films? Yeah, no, I like I like getting high at night and watching the <laughs> Marvel stuff. Also, the Nat Geo stuff on there is great. Yo, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, God, I had, I had oh oh, you know what the movie that you haven't seen that really grinds my gears that you haven't seen Ratatouille. Yes, yo, that movie is so good. 
That movie is so good. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. What are we that, talking about? That movie is. You think that I should go home and say to your mom, also a grown up, hey, let's watch um, Ratatouille. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We watched Sing 2 over Thanksgiving. We were with kids, yeah, we but, were the kids, but that movie was also pretty good. Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> it I'm not going to lie to you. I liked pretty it. Pretty phenomenal. But I just feel weird. There's, there's no way she and I... Beep are... boop, beep boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that pig is the funniest thing. There's no way. I don't remember a minute of the movie. <sighs> Except that. No, I don't remember that either. That was just funny. You doing it. <laughs> you know, remember him where he's like, we should do a sci-fi film? Yeah. And they're doing a play. And then he's he's like, I'm going to be the robot. And he starts going, beep, boop, pop, beep. You don't remember that? No, I don't remember Bro. a minute of that movie. Bummer, because that shit was super was funny. Was that sync too? Yeah. I'm going to go see Guardians tonight. Oh, I just saw it last night. And? Look, I think the reviews were, were, were mixed for, I think, the first time that I've ever seen for a Guardians. Like, usually, look, the first two Guardians for me, I, I got no notes. You know what I'm saying? Soundtrack, top to bottom, and perfectly placed in every single in scenes. Yes. Yeah. But, and also, great choice of music. But the first one was exponentially better than the second one yes yeah i would agree with that okay i was also like ugh, my girlfriend and on played a song yesterday while we were in the car and i was like yo this would have gone so much better at in the second movie with ego and she was like which and which song was it and it was a uh, um the wheel in the sky yeah with journey and i was like that would have been like for me like i feel like that would have been a way better like end credit song or end scene song like you know what i'm saying but I don't even remember what the end credit song was for that movie. Does your mom need to see the second movie to watch the third one? We watched a 20-minute video on YouTube recapping all the important things in the last two movies. I'll send you the link. Yeah. Just watch it before you Does go in. Does she need that? Yes. There is something that happens right at the top of the movie, and if you have no idea, you're going to really be confused. Yeah, because then she's going to ask me questions throughout the whole movie, and that bugs the shit out of Especially me. Especially in public. At home, it bugs. At home, I understand that. We were public watching, too. It's like, oh, we were watching Guardians the first one last night because she wanted to. How many times did you pause it? In the first fifteen minutes, she must have asked me one hundred and seventy-two questions. She paused that fucking movie so many times. I'm like, what? 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 Are, oh what are we God. doing? What are we? Just... I was like, can't, <laughs> yeah, can't even I, get through a scene I or dialogue her, without like, pausing the movie. I was like, you know, these questions might be answered later in the movie if you just let it play out. Generally, the questions that I like, generally questions that are asked are answered 15 minutes later. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, got to yeah. keep, you just got to be like, oh, I wonder this and I wonder that. Well, let's find out. Do you, you know, know what I'm saying? You like, know what you got to do? Huh? Watch the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. Um, it's important. You don't get the answers before the test. Yeah, it's important. You watch the fucking movie. Yeah, I think for sure that 20 minute recap will be good for her if you don't want to sit two two hours I of don't. questions. If you if you count <laughs> if you count the amount of times she stops to ask questions or gets up and pees, it's oh, like it's, a five hour movie. It's a long yeah, <laughs> that's that's an endeavor. It's a long it's time. like watching a Lord of the Rings movie yeah. without getting up. It's funny though, you know, she and I are at a point now. Where we'll get into bed, right? And and um, we discuss or slash debate what we're going to argue for thirty minutes. We finally settle on something, and within the first three seconds of the show, I'm I'm asleep. I wonder I wondered where I got that from because I have the same problem. I'm asleep. Why am I Why am I his age at twenty six? What the fuck? You are you're. Why do I have that? Why do I have that right now? Do you make old man noises when you get up? Oh yeah, you do. You hear how much my body cracks when I just get out of this chair? You've Oh, I could just Yo, you know, you know <laughs> just else? crack my knee. I could do a whole bunch of different you know what shit. Else? You do that neck crack does such mo- It's so it's so good. Do one. Let me see. If I, I don't know. I already did it today. I don't know if it's there. <laughs> oh, just one. Oh. No. <laughs> just one. I feel like you're gonna do it too hard once, and you're gonna be like, Gink, boo. No, that's why. It's like I never like I've been doing it for so long that I I just there's a certain point that I just don't push past. And I, that for that exact reason, like, I understand that there are people who are trained. Now, when I say trained professionals, I mean, doctors like who would gone through school to become a chiropractor to specifically crack a person a certain way or, you know, release tension. Right. Yeah. I said crack the last time I was at the chiropractor, by the way. And he, and he was don't relax with release tension. Okay. I know what you're about to do. <laughs> relax over there. I was going to say, Dr. Doug never released any <laughs> tension. I don't know if you, you might have ordered something different off the menu. <laughs> I hope not. Yo, but, Dr. Doug jacked, by the way. Yeah, you know, I remember the, like, one of the first times I ever met him. He's jacked, covered in tattoos, and he had a Superman shirt on. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, yeah, Superman shirt on? Like, one of the first times I met him, he came in, and he's because he's got the Clark Kent glasses, and 
He's got great bedside manner, and he's absolutely shredded and See, covered in tattoos. And he came in and he took his, he zip, unzipped his jacket and legit had a Superman on, a Superman shirt on. And I was like, who the f- couple things? Who really? am I looking at? First of all, I never want to be laying face down on a table and hear somebody unzip anything. No, no, no. You, if I hear it zip from behind me, I'm over like, yeah, let's let's pause for a second on what this, this I is. Just, I hate the be. fact that you even thought about that. <laughs> like Yo, that lo- yeah, that you long know, zip. You know, fuck that. Let me know, ask let me you ask you what that reminds me of. Go ahead. When I used to work at Jersey Mike's, which I did for like three and a half years, something like that. Yeah, you love that job, dude. Yeah, it was a great job. I as a 19, 20, 21 year old didn't have to buy food ever. Yeah, you had your own place. I had, a, I had a Jersey Mike's sandwich for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, I was I worked five days a week. I was in there at 10 a.m. But there was one there was one time there was, you know, the fridge at Jersey Mike's. You've ever been there's a fridge where they have all the, you know, the different types of meat out so they can, you know, slice it for you. And under that, there's like a little undercarriage where the water goes and like, you know, extra stuff that you have to clean up. And I'm cleaning that out one day and I see a guy walk in and I'm like, and I'm like, hey, sir, like, well, you know, what can I do for you? Can I get your order? And he doesn't look at me. He knows where I am and I can see him and he's looking at the ceiling. And he goes, I'll talk to you when you're above my waist. And I was like, what? And he said to me, he goes, I'll never talk to another. I'll never talk to another man who is below my waist. And I was like, what? Let's just take it a little too far. Yeah, yeah. I I, I stood up and I was like, I mean, preference, sure. But by the way, just so you know, know, that is a dude who definitely wants a dude to suck his dick. Like if you're that, if you're that. Anti, even a guy kneeling down in your general vicinity. Not even his vicinity. There was a counter between yo, us. Like I wasn't just, even like near him. Yo, that and, it was really and like the fact to that he look put up it, to over. Yeah, it was. Yeah, dude. It just, was really. It was the whole. I stood up and I was like, just, "Okay, just wh- go hook up with your best friend Jason, dude. That's what you want." I was like, "Well, I was like, well now." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I stood up and I go, "Well, now what can I get for you?" And he goes, "I'm not sure okay. yet." And I was like, "I was like, I was cleaning that thing for like five minutes. I think you had a good amount of time to figure out what you wanted to eat." Can I circle back real quick to something about the chiropractor? Sure. I'm in between somebody who calls himself a doctor, but then gives you his first name. I don't want to be Doctor Doug or Doctor Mike. That doesn't feel like a real doctor. Do you know what I mean? His, we- but his last name is also a first name. His last name is Cole, Doug Cole. I don't, that, like yeah, I feel like if you like, said Doctor Cole, I'd have been like, "Oh, that's his first name too." About chiropractors, they only give you Doctor Mike or Doctor Dave or you know. I, I got Doctor Greg instead of Doctor Doug last time I was yeah, there. Yeah, no, nah, I need your last name. <laughs> or let's just drop. <laughs> let's just drop the doctor. <laughs> Why? I don't know. There's something a little too informal. They about went to it. med school. Doctor Doug. Now listen. By the way, Doctor Doug. Yeah, if you're watching this, you know, amazing chiropractor and a solid human being as well. But that's why I just started calling him Doug, and I and so I don't need to call you Doctor Mike. No, nah, I just Dr. Doug just always I think just sounded good too. Like off the tongue, Dr. Doug just rolls well. I'm just I'm if you go doctor first name, I'm just going straight first name. Okay. Or we can go Dr. Robertson. But if you're Mike Robertson and you're going Dr. Mike, you're just getting a straight Mike. Okay. Yeah, you know, sure. I think I'm gonna get more people than you think who agree with me on that. Do you want me to get there's the- something about there's something about that informal, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It just bothers me. It's just like, I don't know. Well, you obviously do know because it bothers you and you just went on, a rant. I, I you went on an old man rant about it. Was that an old man rant? I think any rant you do now is considered an old man rant. You and, know why? Uh, this is the only reason. Oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to say it at the same time? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. Because I'm old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just as long as you're uh, you know, on the, on the same page. <laughs> at what age did you start thinking oh this dude's old when you started putting makeup in your beard well i just got to color it <laughs> by the but way that, but I, that's, I did but such, that... by the way i did a terrible job today you got a couple clotting spots around the right side I, I did it in the dark and then i when i walked outside i'm like fuck it i'm not gonna fix it i'm so <laughs> tired i'm so tired of coloring in my beard i can't even tell you but it has to match the mustache because your mustache has not gone gray one bit not one bit you have more gray no hairs. no i went and checked you have I, more uh, gray hairs I, than your mustache no i went and don't, checked don't scream into the mic I, you don't scream it yeah, but mic. I, I went the mic away like a professional uh, yeah. <laughs> no i went it, i went and checked yeah what were they they were not anything they were not gray hairs they were not blonde hairs everything was fine and i didn't pull any of them or shave any of them listen dude are you seeing them again right now no you obviously pulled it you telling me that wasn't a gray hair we both were you took a picture of it there was light remember how shiny we looked in that light where was it that was at the last pod we did oh was that that dude's studio yeah 
Are you saying that his lighting was so bad it made one hair look gray? Well, it was one on each side, which was weird too, because you said yeah, there was like dude. there was like a matching one on each end. Fuck but why would my why would I have a matching gray hair see. on each end? No, because you're just gonna pull a hair. I'm not out gonna pull. Fun. Let me just see. Let me see. Yeah, they're gone. They were never there. I've, say, I've I've pulled gray hairs out of my head. I, I'll give you that. Like I listen, definitely have. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to that because I have the video. <laughs> go back to the video. I can't see. You anything. can't see anything. I was just gonna say the same thing. I can't see. You can't say. You can't see shit in that video. Not a thing. No. Now listen, before we go any further, we were in Raleigh this last week. Yep. Um, coming up, we got a mini theater tour mm -hmm. in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and then Wichita, Kansas. Yep. The following week, we're in Michigan for like almost a whole last week. Grand Rapids on that Wednesday, and then Royal Oak that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think that is almost all sold out. Yeah. And then we're taking a week off, and then we just added a week in Miami, that first week in June. Yeah, it's like the third or the fourth or something like that. It's yeah. a Friday, Saturday, first weekend in June. Yeah, but that should be a good time. Oh, it's going to be. I just wanted to drop that in there for not, people. No, no, it's important. It's important yeah. that, that people know what we're doing. But also, if you want to look any further past that, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. Tell me something, man. I'm so curious. How are you feeling on stage? For those of you who don't know, Jacob's been coming around with me. He opens the show. How are you feeling on stage? Um, what do you feel like is happening? I'm so curious where your head's at. Um, uh, like like he said, uh, I did start recently doing that. Um, my very first time on stage by myself was in Australia, and we were in Sydney, Sydney right at the store. Um, we and had, we had just eat, was it before or after we ate that giant tomahawk steak with our hands? Uh, or in the after. Middle, after. No, well, well, we didn't finish it by the time we both got on stage, and so then we came back after the show also, and then continued to eat. But yeah. it was like on the on the bone yeah. kind of, sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but so I did my first like five, seven minutes there. Yep. yep. Um, Hold and on. Okay. Stop. And then, <laughs> and then I, uh, and then I, you know, we obviously, for those of you who don't know, we do a Q and A. Uh, so if you see us on the road, we always do a, a Q and A during uh, after his set. Um. Where you guys can ask us anything, right? And so I've been doing that for probably about almost two years. The first time was mm -hmm. Mall of America, and I remember it because that's when we really. Yeah, that was, was so it was, good. It was June 2021. Had we planned it, or was that just we planned it? Because I think we had like. Yeah, that like, was a really good one too. Yeah, that 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 weekend in Minnesota was fire. Like yeah. we had so yeah. much fun there. Yeah. We we Ow. it really came out. You got some knee problems again. Yeah. And you talked about compression the other day. You should do compression. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Um, and so we just we did a, started a, about two years ago, and then, no joke, we were in Austin at the end of March, and I was just chilling in the green room and you know getting ready for the Q and A later on. But before the show, they came in, and we had uh, Stephen Randolph, who sometimes comes and features for my dad, uh, and we had him on the road, and the manager came in and they were like, "You ready to go?" And they go, "Yeah, just a two man show, right?" And she goes, "No, in your contract, it actually says your son's hosting." And I was like, what? you nailed it. Though. I mean, yeah, it was it was great. And, you know, I feel like I feel like we kind of thrive in those situations where we just get thrown into shit and we're yeah. like, yeah, OK, well, well, we'll make it work. Right. What, what's the people that have been asking me? And I'm so curious. What's the goal for you, man? You, you don't want to go on the road and do stand up by yourself. Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, but also, like, you know, as of right now with you know what we're doing and all the different things that we're doing like it's it's what has been put in front of me and it's what i've decided to pursue and whether that decides to change later on down the line um and i find some different endeavor just like eventually you will find a different endeavor because you will not be touring for the rest of your life true um and i know we'll you know we'll be doing something different um but you know i just waiting for that door to that door to open yeah and as of right now i'm having a really good time uh going on stage and opening and you're doing a great job dude you're doing a great job um I, i've really been impressed you know it's not easy to get up there cold which is what you're doing get yeah. up there when the audience is cold um you know i'm i'm i know certain steps in my head and i'm i don't know if i should be telling you the certain steps if you Want to learn the certain steps on your own? Did you get told those steps, or did you figure those steps out? Um, yeah, I guess I, I learned by watching. But you're watching somebody who's 
w- way more advanced than the guys I was watching when I started. So they were doing things at that level that you should probably be doing. Okay. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you should definitely be watching every set. I agree. I definitely agree with that. Cause I want to be able to set. watch something and see like wording on one that I liked that versus, you know, a different type of words, a different type of wording. You know, if I've just switched a couple words around or I've, I just, you know, um, taking one word out for another, just, but slow also stuff like dude, that. bigger things, repeating certain words, repeating certain phrases instead of, a. Uh, Right. Right. Which is just habit when people get into when they talk, what they yeah. what is natural for them and all that. And um, example. Yeah. And how you stand on stage, how you look on stage, all those things you may like, you may not like. Mm-hmm. But those are things that like at this level is what you should be like really honing in on. Yeah, I've, I've found a lot of comfort in just standing at the microphone yeah, and then I notice that and, you know, using my arms to kind of like, you know, uh, help tell my story but then also you know sometimes i accidentally pull the mic up too much and i'm freddie mercury and then i kind of rock with that or like i'm using the mic stand right now as my main prop on stage sure um and i think finding the confidence just standing at the mic has helped a lot and then i i'm gonna try pacing soon but anytime i walk on stage i feel my knees shake so i but i don't feel my knee shake when i'm standing at that mic so i'm gonna keep that keep that confidence there and where it is and how's your confidence uh sober as opposed to a couple hits off the way better even even if i drink half a beer before i go on stage it's something in the alcohol and in the weed that when i go up there it gives me anxiety it gives me a jitter um and i i think just smoking weed for me has become so habitual that i'm like yo i can do it with everything yeah and i still can do it with everything because when i come up for the q a i'm generally pretty hot yeah so what well, because while you're on stage i got about an hour to to eat and you know, do whatever. Yeah. Um, and that has become more comfortable to be in is, is something different, right? It's a little more loose for you and I, where we kind of just get to fuck around. So I, I don't feel that do you anxiety f- as much. Do you feel quicker with your jokes and your stories and your wit when you're high or when you're sober? Because uh, the Q and a is all improv. And so I, I think it's situational. Like I think for me, when I have something planned, uh, like just just using my my opening and then that like when I'm I've become more comfortable with the Q and A because we've been doing it for two years yeah on and off but like started two years ago I just started doing my solo stuff by yeah. myself four months ago so I also think it's a time frame thing like I'm comfortable like my confidence has grown immensely in these four months like don't get me wrong but there's a difference between four months and two years. Fuck yeah. Dude. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%, 100%. So, so I think it's just my body and it's like, we're still, you know, and also my best sets in the last in Charlotte and in Raleigh, cause we were North Carolina back to back weeks or a week in between break. But those have been my, my favorite six. Yeah. You're doing great, man. Like and, I thought Charlotte was great. And then I had a, a couple really good ones in Raleigh. Like yeah. that Saturday night early show was so much fun. Yeah. So I, I, I'll I'm just tell you, man, I, I see the progression, which is great. And I'm, I'm asking, not that you're doing anything wrong, because young comics do find things to do to calm them. I told you, I used to smoke two or three cigarettes before I went on stage. Gross. And I don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. But I would smoke, and I would buy a pack at the beginning of a week. And depending on how many sets I would do, that pack might last me 10 days. Because I knew I would smoke a couple before, a couple right after. Right. To Just call, to, to kind of calm easy, me down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it's been, I, I will tell you, man, you, Oh, my knee. Even true. Good. Um, watching you kind of has reinvigorated energy for me. Yeah, like, I, like, I love I love watching it, man. I, and I love watching you trash it and and be fearless up there. That's important. Just here's the deal: whether you want to do this forever or not, it's a great experience. The stepping up to something that scares you and being thrown into the fire. And not having somebody go up before you to warm up, but but just being like, oh shit, I gotta do this right now. And then doing it. And whether you do it well or not, yeah. The 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 important thing is like when you're scared of something and you do it, and then after you do it, you realize, oh, what was I scared of? Like jumping off that building in Auckland. Yeah. Like what what was I scared of? I'm fine. I I had built up in my head and your 
as soon as you conquer or you do something you were scared of, your confidence level goes up. Right. And then you 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 attack things differently mm. because you're like, well, well, I was scared of that last thing and I did it. You know what I mean? Yep, that is true. And so, like, I, 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 regardless of how this ends up for you, this doing this, I think, is gonna serve you really well. I agree. Well, because it's already served me well. Because you remember growing up, uh, you were scared of stage speaking. fright. Yeah, stage fright was like my biggest fear. I yeah, school projects even oh just standing Lord, in front yeah. of my class was. Yeah was hard that first time i was on chelsea when i sat on your lap that was so how, funny how much did i shake the you were 14 the entire panel yes yeah, but the entire panel yeah shaking i yeah. was i was sitting on your lap because that was the joke yeah but the entire panel shaking because it was so new to me but as we've done and look i at 26 i've done some pretty remarkable things like that Dude, which on. i i have crazy yeah crazy. which i have no complaints about to yeah with the josh wolf show to being on chelsea for separate things to, to being a bat boy for the red Sox, to, to going to a poppy's celebrity golf tournaments Crazy, you had yeah. a david ortiz celebrity roast yeah. like we not even just that stuff the places we've traveled like we were just in australia and new zealand yeah for people to come see us do comedy yeah so crazy that's crazy we're going to a different country again in the fall in september guys we are going Countries. to Sorry. we are going to london Dublin, Glasgow, Copenhagen, Oslo, Amsterdam. One more that I'm forgetting. Is that it? Yeah. I, thought, I thought that was it. One more. I could bring it up, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, but so yeah, UK. We'll uh, we'll see you in the fall, baby. I'm super it's excited. Be crazy. Yeah, I am hoping while we're in London to find some time to go see a Premier League game. So when that season, when that schedule comes out, if it if it works. Hope it does, but uh, we they, the games are generally at night, and we perform at night, so we'll see how well that works out. Can I tell you, um, when I first, the first time I went to London, I walked into my hotel room, and it was like a box. Oh, oh, dude, dude, and, there, and I really, small. I really was like, oh, the promoter hates me. So I called the promoter, and I was like, yo, what's the deal with the box? And she was like, what do you mean? I go, I, I don't know where to put my suitcase. <laughs> And she was like, this is what European hotel rooms look like. And I was like, cool, find me. An American hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Find me some oversized <laughs> shit with four closets and a bathroom with two doors. One one for the toilet and one for the shower. When you're allowed, do that. Do that. You just bring it out of the mic. You, sh you sure you don't want me to yell into the mic? Uh, you can yell as long as you yell from here. Um. Yeah, man, I, I I am looking forward to. I've never been to Oslo or Copenhagen. I've never done stand up at, anywhere over there. No, nah, so I've, I've I've been to London, but I've never been to Dublin. I've never been to Copenhagen. When we go to Dublin, Sweden. you know what we're doing for sure? We're going to the Leprechaun Museum. I was born on St. Patrick's Day, baby. I'm I'm ready. Yo, I went to the Leprechaun Museum last time I was in Dublin, and I know what you're thinking. A museum implies facts. Right. Yeah. There's not a lot of facts at a leprechaun museum, except you know why there's not a lot of facts at a leprechaun museum? Because leprechauns aren't real. Correct. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They that's just on, I... they exist on cereal boxes and then Yo. and then weird weird culty horror movies. So here's what I found very funny about the museum. First of all, you walk in the lobby, right? There's a bunch of stuff behind glass, and on what the first thing you see is like traditional leprechaun garb. So it wasn't like what they are dressed like now right it looked right. more like boy scout uniforms right this is what old leprechaun right okay, okay and i was like oh okay there's some like that's actually feels historical and in the next glass was a box of lucky charms i'm like okay that's where we are great and so it's like a novelty museum almost dude it's it's more like where the lore came from but the you first of all when they they send you down this little this little hallway with a twirly thing at the bottom okay so you're like going into a different dimension they're like we're going to show you what it's like to be a leprechaun and then you walk into a room with giant furniture that's awesome so you have to climb up the chair and shit like that, that it's is pretty amazing. funny and but if you ever wondered like what happened to that person in high school that was really into musical theater they're giving tours at the leprechaun museum she, the, yo, this woman. Cool. So that means you had a great tour guide. I, oh gosh, she was. That means your tour oh, guides were amazing. By my, the way, my man, she was one hundred percent in on this. I love it. It was so good, and so she, she gave us a great tour. But 
she scared like three kids. Uh, the parents had to take them. Nah. Oh yeah, dude. They for what? It's dark. Those stories. Leprechauns. Look, man. Have you seen the movie Leprechaun? Yes. Leprechauns. Weird. Just like a lot of tales like that. I know I'm touching. You. I was like, why are you? Why are you like leprechauns? Like a lot of tales like that were invented as a way to scare kids to do what parents wanted them to do. Like Krampus. That uh, Krampus? Uh, you don't know what Krampus is? Campus with an R? No, K- Krampus with a K. K-R-A-M-P-U-S. Krampus. All right, you're going to give me five guesses what that is? Shh. I think I got that name right. I, I might have to Google it, but I'm pretty sure it's... Why don't you Google it right now? Krampus. Okay. I think that's right. They made a, a movie about it. Like I've seen Krampus. Is that a campus that's got a lot of people on it? It's a Krampus. No. It, it a Krampus is something when you and I get a cramp in the same part of our body. Yeah, I was right. Okay, Krampus. Yeah, it's Krampus. Is Krampus a thing? Yes. I promise you it's a thing. Krampus with a K K R A M P U S. Yeah. Do you want me to use it in a sentence? Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, a spelling bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Use it in a sentence. Okay, use okay. it in a sentence. Use it in a sentence. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me. Let me open the Wikipedia page. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, why do you need it in a sentence if you know what it is? Why do you need the Wikipedia page if you know what it is? Just so I can try and give you a better... So I don't give it away right away? Oh, okay. Because... How could you give it... Okay. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to... Krampus is Christmas related. It is. Krampus is Christmas related. I would have never guessed that. He okay, can- okay, 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 okay. Krampus is like... Oh, it's like a it's Krampus is like a, a an evil Santa Claus. Correct. Krampus is a horned a, ooh anthropomorphic. What? Yep. Anthropomorphic hold figure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A N T H R O P O M O R P H I C. Correct. Fuck yeah. Did you just have to spell that just for fun? Yeah, dude. Okay. Do I get a star a sticker on my helmet or something? No. It is <laughs> it, <laughs> An- anthropomorphic figure in the central and eastern alpine folklore of Europe who during the advent season scares children who have misbehaved. Assisting St. Nicholas or Santa Claus, the pair visit the children on the night of December 6th with St. Nicholas rewarding the well-behaved children with gifts such as oranges, dried fruit, walnuts, and chocolate. Stop right there. Stop right there. Not really gifts if I got to Stop be right there. If Santa comes to your house and gives you oranges and dried fruit, kick that fat fuck out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yo, that's like somebody on Halloween that gives me an apple. I'm an almond we're, joy. We're, we're fucking fighting. Will you stop? The almond joy is a ah, the almond, almond joy is a good suck. Almond joy suck. I don't want to hear it. Um but so but uh while St. Nicholas does that, and also this isn't on Christmas, it's on December 6th. It's before Christmas. It's not like why is St. Nick coming to somebody's house on December 6th? Because he's rewarding the do, do, okay, hold on. St. Nicholas rewards the well behaved children with gifts, such as those things that we just stated. Yeah, don't that they do that really, on Christmas? No, that's with actual gifts. This is like an encouragement to keep being good until Christmas. And then while the badly behaved ones only receive punishment from Krampus with birch rods. Birch rods? Yeah, it's like a, like he like spanks them. And so Krampus Day itself, on the other hand, is the 5th of December. So the origin is un- unclear, but it just became... You know what the origin is? Somebody's drunk uncle. Correct. That's the origin. Somebody's drunk uncle was like, oh, these fucking kids. Yeah, but so that's Krampus. That's How do we get there again? Uh, leprechaun. Oh, yeah. Things that people made up to scare their kids. Yeah. yeah. So that's Yo, Krampus. Krampus. First of all... They made a, by the way, they made a Christmas movie about it. Not bad. Was it the dude from Stranger Things? Hopper? Yeah. Hopper? Hopper. Hopper? Maybe. I think he was in a Santa Claus movie. No, no, that was Silent Night. That was the one he was just in where he was like yeah. Santa and killing a bunch of people. No, yeah. no. No, Krampus was made in like 2014, something like that. And it's like a family that's trapped inside and being hunted by Krampus. What, is Krampus, pretty, what does Krampus look like? He's. Can I be honest? He's like the devil Santa. He's like a goat. He's like a goat man with horns. And yeah, and like, yeah, just you want to see it? You want me to pull the picture? Did you ever see that movie where the dude couldn't see, but people were trapped in his house? Oh, 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 yeah. The blind dude who was like murking people because they tried to rob him. And then was he, it what was it called? Shh, I'm here or something. No. <laughs> That's not the- <laughs> That's definitely not the name of that movie. <laughs> Why? Why was that even? Uh, uh, shit's me. That's not the name of it, but 
What was it called? Krampus. That's Krampus. He's scary. Yo, I'll show you a scarier picture. That, but what? He's got a little teddy bear underneath him. Yeah, is he just, scary looking? Just... Dude, dude, this is his folklore look. Yeah, that's scarier. Yeah. <laughs> what about, that what about, feels what about all... somebody dressed up as Krampus? Yeah, but that doesn't. That looks like just a. That's an ugly dude. That Krampus guy. Yeah, that with that with horns. Were you? Sc- Excuse me. Were you scared of anything when you were growing up, like that? Like, was there anything? Were you an under something under my bed scared guy? Was the, the darkness? I don't. You tell me. I don't think so. I don't think I never asked you to check for anything. I don't think I was a no. You didn't like, under the bed. You or, didn't love the dark by yourself. No, that's fair. That's but fair. There, a lot of kids don't like the dark by themselves. Also, I don't really like the dark by myself now. Just depends on what kind of dark. Like if I'm outside, dark different. But if I'm in a room with no lights, dark and I'm not sleeping. Turn well, a light off. But outside dark has light. It's very rare that you're outside dark and it's pitch black. Well, right, right. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like outside dark, fine. What movies scared you the most? And you, you used to like horror movies, didn't you? No. You're thinking about another sibling. Okay. Pretty sure that was Caitlin. Trev does. Oh, Trev. Oh, yeah. No, I, I've never been a horror movie guy. My friends have always been like, let's watch a scary movie. And I've been like, you can eat it. Like, uh, so what? So what? What was the scariest movie you ever seen? However, you know, like obviously, I did go see scary movies in high school with like my group of friends. Yeah, but like, I, I got bullied into that. I never like willingly did that. Somebody else always bought my ticket because I didn't want to go, and they're like, "We have a ticket, you can't say no." It's what? Like, what movie scares <clears throat> you the most? Um, the movies that scare me the most, like, and always have, and still do, are like the possession shit. Like yeah. that movie, The Conjuring. The Conjuring that, will fuck you that up. That first one. Yo, when she's like, when you go into the go into the room, and that little girl's like hitting her head on the dresser, and then you back her up, and then you pan to the top of the dresser, and then there's just that like thing. Hell no, that thing that shit scares me every time. I'll like, tell you, for me, creepy kids, creepy kids. Oh, like the fuck sh- like the up. Shining. Creepy kids fuck me up. Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. Any creepy kid, and if if you have a creepy kid in your movie, there's a pretty good chance I'm not. The Ring. I'm not. Mm, I don't like creepy kids. Yeah, you also didn't like that movie. What was it? The Strangers? The Crazies? Or oh yeah, the Knock Knock. I'm here. That's not it. You're really bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like it would be what the first title you were looking for. What the... was it called? They were out stranded in the woods, and those people in masks showed up. Yo, that's why though. I didn't. Str- isn't it Strangers? Str- Crazies was the one. Was that dude when he's walking through the baseball field with that pitchfork? Remember that? What about what about um us? I still have not seen us. Ooh. I hear nothing but good things about it. Us fucked me up. Can I be honest? Like I, us I, fucked I, me up. Uh, yo, uh, it, it didn't like. There was a period. It's funny. Like I and, and I love that movie. Um, the first half and the second half felt like two different movies to me. I liked them both. Yeah, but the first half scared me, and the second half was like kind of like an action. All right, but the first half was creepy as. Fuck. It's the only one of his films I haven't seen. Because I Yo, saw Get Out and I saw Nope. I have very unpopular opinions about both those movies that I people know. that people do not like me for. I know. I, I look. I well, look. Both think they were great. I think they were. They looked well. They looked good. They were shot well. I have a, just a couple things for the plot, uh, especially in Nope. There were a couple things that just like there was a, some inconsistencies, and I was confused. Yeah, nope. And like Nope wasn't my. I, here's the thing: what keeps me going? Like I love Get Out. Uh, I thought it was good too. I just thought, it, unfortunately, I also saw it later than everybody. I love. So us. I thought it was predictable. Unfortunately, nope. To me, was like, um, I, it, here's what makes it watchable for me. I love the actors, every single one of them. Yeah, Kiki like, Palmer was great in that. Straight up, if you have a movie and everybody in the movie, I kind of like watching. I already like it. Yeah, but didn't that happen with like like uh, that? Oh, what was that Netflix film that came out that pretty recently? That Don't Look Up. I heard yeah. that wasn't good. I heard no. Babylon was not good. Babylon and that was a was, crazy cast. Babylon objectively was doo doo stew. But you get a movie with Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. I'm gonna watch that. Oh no, 100. percent But like, I'm, I'm glad I didn't because you were like, you. I remember you telling me going, it was objectively doo doo stew. Okay, right. But like again, if you, here's the thing for me too, I'm easy to please when it comes to movies. You know why? Mm. Because I know how hard it is to get a movie made. Yeah. Facts. So for me, I'm like, oh, did you? You got this made and put, especially now, you got this made and put in the theaters. Yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah. And, and also people, 
when people like go to like an Iron Man movie or certain movies where like I didn't like the story, I'm like, you're at the wrong movie, dude. Yeah, just, you're not just the Transformers. We want, you, we speaking want to, of, speaking yeah. of, you're going to see, did you see the new Transformers? Fuck yeah, I'm going to see that. <laughs> with, the, with the robotic are King Kong? fucking what? kidding me? Oh, look, man, look. Are I'm, you not going to see that? Look, just hear me out when I say this, okay? I'm all for Transformers. The Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox one is still the best. Don't fight me, okay? Not a question. Big Shia LaBeouf fan. Big Shia LaBeouf fan. That movie Disturbia he was in, in like early, two, it was like 2007. Great. Super good. Super underrated. Yo, the movie uh, Honey Boy? Oh he, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Absolutely. But so uh, big big LaBeouf fans. My one of my best friends, Jake, actually named his dog Shia after Shia LaBeouf. Are you going LaBeouf or LaBeouf? LaBeouf to his face, LaBeouf behind his back. I'm you know going, what I'm saying? I'm going straight LaBeouf. I think it just sounds better. You know what I like? Yeah, but about? also a boof nowadays. What does that mean? Bad. Boof like, yeah. boof means bad? Yeah. Just the word boof? Yeah. If you say something's boof, like it means it means like as bad. That's such so, a silly word. Boof? Right, right. But that's why, like, I would say LaBeouf because, like, LaBeouf might, you know, I don't want to. It's French for the bad. <laughs> La Boof. La Boof. But okay, back to what I was saying about Transformers. Look, I feel like you can only make so many. Like, I, I didn't. I, I feel was was there a King Kong Transformer in you know? There is now. Oh, Jesus, I just mean like we just did dinosaurs. Like why? Why are we? Yeah, I didn't like, see the dinosaur one. Here's the here's the thing that I the problem I have with things like that. It's a make believe world, right? Okay. It's like when people are like, "You can't." It's like when I hear you. You know, uh, we're buddies with Anthony Mackie, right? Yep. And um, the Black Avenger. That's not Don Cheadle. Just for anybody who doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but but like buddies with Mackie and. To hear him catching shit, like when, that that the new Captain America is gonna be black, it's a made up character. It's like when people are like, "That's not what really happened in Star Wars." How the fuck? It's a made up universe. They can make up whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, it's so crazy to me that people get up in arms. That the fucking Little Mermaid stuff. Yo, guys, these are made up characters in made up universes. Times change, things change, creators change. Yeah, just fucking enjoy the ride. I did. So I did see a me. preview. My like my first like full screen preview for Little Mermaid last night. Love it. I have two notes. You massacred my boys, Sebastian and Flounder. You massacred them. That's my only thing. Like you Why? look at what them. Do you mean? If you look at Flounder in the movie and then in the film, he's yellow in the original. There's no yellow on him. So like what? I don't know. Like they just feel like they massacred my boy. That's all. Yeah, but, so, like, but, so, but that's again such a you, small, that's such a small thing. But that's just my, that's just my two cents. If this was a, his, if this was a historical character, and it was important, that, are you saying the original Little, Little Mermaid's not part of history? If it was a historical <laughs> figure, and that original character only wore yellow, and you're like, man, that's, he's got to wear yellow. Like if you did a, if you did a Abraham Lincoln movie and put him in a baseball hat, I'd be like, yeah, I got a problem with that. This is a real thing. Like in the Vampire Slayer? I did. I loved it. No baseball hat. But, but you know <laughs> what I'm saying? I feel like you didn't have a hat on for half of it. But this is a real dude. But like Little Mermaid, it's up to the person who's creating this world again. Yeah, but I also just feel yeah, like but, I feel like remaking and continuity, like just give him yellow. Like at least make just, the fish yellow. But get like out of the crab the crab is red, right? The red also he just looks like a regular crab, which is fair now because we're in 2023. But like at least make the fish yellow. Yeah, but you like get, just help me out. Like just make just make my boy flounder yellow. Get out of your feelings, man. No, nope, that's the only thing I'm in my feelings oh my about. God, like, geez. just make him yellow. Who? But like, it's for it's just like when um, Star Wars people go crazy because it's the older generation of Star Wars that always hates the newer Star Wars. Right? Mm -hmm. Those movies aren't for you. They are now being made for people who were your age when they're watching them. They are they are appealing to a younger crowd, you old fucks. <laughs> it's a made up world for kids. Yeah. That you are happy to watch too, man. But it is not like when people get that's not how Luke would have what how the fuck do you know how the made up Luke Skywalker would have reacted? Yeah, it's a good you point. Fuck. <laughs> it makes me point. so much. That's not what he would have said. Really? In the make believe world, you don't know what 
It's so dumb. It's so <laughs> it people when people get in their feelings about that shit, it is so dumb. To yeah. Me. Hey, when we edit this, I want an old rant, man, old rant, old man rant count, and we got two right now at the bottom. So just throw it like somewhere right Dude, here. These haven't even been rants. These are just fat. That was a rant. You're telling me that wasn't a rant. That was just fat. How high is your blood pressure right now? I actually feel pretty good. <laughs> I feel pretty good. <laughs> Eat a dick. My blood pressure is pretty ah. good. All right. Um, let me let me ask you something. Yeah. Um, what are you most look? By the way, the I can't believe that you are bummed out about your boy Sebastian. But let's no. It's more flounder. It's sorry. It's more flounder yeah. than Sebastian. Sebastian is a crab, and just he's make sure you be a crab. scream directly into the mic. Well, no, that's why I pulled it away because I I heard I heard the feedback, so I pulled yeah. it back like that. It's not more Sebastian. It's more flounder. Really? It's way more flounder. Are you are you down for singing along to some Under the Sea? When you see it, are you gonna are you gonna sing along to it? Oh, the the song that was in the preview last night was "I Wanna Be Part of Your oh, World." Oh, you oh yeah, okay. I didn't can't sing too much of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I definitely sang that in the theater, full theater, hundred percent, not full voice. You full throat it? No. Whoa. Whoa. Pause. 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 Relax. You've never heard the <laughs> term full throat? Yeah. It's not a term I think you can use nowadays. I think it is. Yeah. I feel like there's only one term, only one way you can use that term. And that's you say the... full voice? Sure. Yeah. Better than full Am throat. I... <laughs> Am I mixing up my say? <laughs> yes. Are you You've sure? got to be. Because I have never heard anybody say, oh, you want to go full out and sing that song? Use your full throat. That's not the. That's not how you say it. <laughs> that not, that's not how you say I've it. Never, that's not the right term, though. You don't say way, use your full throat. The way I said it was better than the way you said it. You said no. you said did you full throat it? <laughs> that, yeah, that does sound a little suspect. Man, is a little sus. That sounds way worse. Yeah, that sounds way worse. But like, did you? <laughs> No. Now, I, um, by the way, I do want to want to mention one other thing. This is like the third time in a row that I've seen you that we've been wearing the same hat. Hey, it's not my fault. We went to the same place and they gave us this. Oh, so this is the only hat I wear. Mix it up a little, pops. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! I don't know what else to tell you. Change your wardrobe up a little bit. I, Get listen, an orange hat that matches those shattered backboards. Do something. I'm never wearing an orange hat. You got an orange hoodie though that you're gonna wear. I'm not. I'm not a hunter. I'm not putting on an orange hat to go out of my you, house. Uh, you did. You have. Before. I have an orange beanie. Yeah. Yep. I was just gonna say you've definitely worn an orange beanie outside that, the house. But that is for sure because it's your mom's line of beanies, and it's the best beanie I've ever worn in my entire life. And it's called the Beautiful Earth. Yay! Hey, um, I, that orange hoodie is dope. Yeah, it's super dope. How do you feel about me using the word dope? It's okay. Yeah, I, I think you know what it means. I know. So what it means. I think that's all. What if matters. I started? What words? What if I started using the word "boof"? Are there some slang words I shouldn't be using? Boof. <laughs> boof. boof <laughs> Definitely. Boof. Um, boof doesn't feel good. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> that's fine with me. Um, I don't know. What I if mean, I said something was lit? That's fine. It sounds terrible coming out of your mouth. That's what, what I'm saying. I just need to know what sounds terrible coming out. We're of We're gonna mouth. have to do a trial and error, but definitely not lit. What if I was like, "That's lit"? No. Nope. And put that on the put put that in the trash. Okay. And how about oh I don't like this donut. It's boof. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of funny when you say it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. But dope, I can say dope is fine. Like dope. dope I, yeah, I, I feel like also you were or, you know were alive around the invention I was of the alive. word dope. Around you know the invention of the word dope, but I don't think it was used for. I think it was used for two different things. It was used for weed, and and a dummy. You're a dope. Oh okay. Yeah. You fucking dope. I feel like was, I love calling dope, someone a dope. Was dope just used for weed, or was it used for kind of like sometimes it classified everything? You mean like heroin? Yeah, like I feel like I've only heard dope for weed or something that's way more intense. Yeah, man, I, I was never around much heroin, so I didn't use it. I'm no, that's use the not word what... smack. Oh, okay. You know, um, but dope was for weed. But I loved calling someone a fucking dope. <laughs> or yeah. or Momo. Oh, a uh, Momo. Yeah, you fucking Momo. What is a? I don't know. It just sounded good. No, okay. It must be generational, I guess. Of course it is. Yeah, because it doesn't sound good now. What other slang? Um, I'm gonna have to think about it. We we, we did that. We did that thing once. Remember where I was trying well, to you teach explained you? To me. Yeah, I tried to explain different slangs to you. There's just some things, you know, like when I'm when I'm in London and I try to when someone says cheers and I say cheers back to him, it just doesn't sound right. I can't, honestly, I like cheers more than I like thank you. 
Like, I don't know. I actually think it sounds you better. You do say cheers. Though. I think it sounds better coming off the tongue. Like, but here's the thing. If you say, if they say cheers, you could still say thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do. Like, yeah, you, you still can. They're just going to be like, what an American. Yeah. That's it. But, but no, like you can still like, I also sometimes still hear Brits still say thank you sometimes. Like they don't always yeah, say yeah. cheers. It's like 95% of the time it's cheers. And I cheers think the people who say, nicer. and I think the people who say thank you to me are making fun of me because I'm American, but cheers just feels more festive. Maybe I, I don't know. I, I like it more. It's quicker. It's just like a real quick, it's like cheers. And then just like you're out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like it. They also, did you know that overseas, if you, when you go to like, like toast and you cheers there, like the rule is you have to look the person you cheers in the eye. What else would you do? Oh, some people just, some people just cheers and like, look at the glass or like, don't look at anything or like, well, you wouldn't cheer somebody like this. That's kind of disrespectful. Well, that's, think? that's, that's what it was. It's like a respect thing. I learned that last time. Yeah, like one of the first times I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but if like if it's like a group of us or like people come in and you're like or like something happens or something happens in the game, right? You cheer like I could just be doing this or, you know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't drink anymore, so I haven't cheers to people in a long time. How long has it been since you've had a sip of anything? Oh, uh, well, you, well, you've had like a celebrate celebratory tequila. I had a shot in Nashville. Okay. Um, I might have had a shot. I'll have a shot every now and then. But I, 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 remember, I remember the first time we took a shot together. I do not. 2015 October Cleveland when I was at LSU. It's my it's when we saw somebody get or when I saw somebody get shot in Cleveland. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did we take the shot before or after you saw somebody get shot? Um, before we were in the green room. Oh, that's right. And I remember at, at the hilarities. Yeah, and it was yo. It shout wasn't, out Nick at hilarities, one of my yeah favorite places. And I'm not gonna lie, this is not a bag in anybody else, but that comedy club. Has the best food, it's in top, the country. I it's think. it's up there. There was a place like the fact that I could go in there and get a top class, medium rare up, fillet steak, steak out of that kitchen, so and all of the people in the audience can get it too. Yeah, top notch. I that, will that tell you, is next level. There was a place, and they've changed their menu recently. Also, Nick, slow down, bro. He's the best. He's like eighty five yeah, and crushing it. Eighty five, two knee braces, comes in crushing with a cane, it. and is still running faster than his servers. Crushing, it's it. insane. There was a place in Naples, Florida. That's the place where that last time I was there, someone pulled a knife. Oh, the Ninja Star out of his no, 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 not Ninja Star. He pulled a uh, like a straight up shiv out of his um, arm arm slink. What's it called? Slink? Not a slink. Uh, not a sleeve. It's something with an SL. Slank. <laughs> what is wrong with Slunk? you? Guessing things. Sl- sleeve. Sleevey. Damn Sleevey. Wait, 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 wait. What's that called? That sl- sling. Sling. Oh, I was yeah. I was close. What'd you say? Slank? I said slink. You said slank. <laughs> after I said after I said slink, you were like, it's there, but I'm not gonna let him know that I think it's close. So you said slank. Sling. Sling, sling. sling with a G. He pulled yeah. a knife out of his sling. Yeah. And tried to stab the security guard. Yeah. But I was not there for that. No. The um this place, Captain Brian's. And they've changed the menu. But Captain Brian's, I would say, was right up there. It had the freshest fish. And it was so, it was one of the reasons the, that I went. Yeah, I understand that. To that place to eat. Yeah. It was I, so good. That Yeah, I can understand why that would be. What other place has a kitchen like Hilarities? And I don't think anyone no, does. Well, do you remember what Nick told us when we were there? Mm. And he said, well, when COVID happened, Nick closed down the comedy club because they couldn't get. They couldn't get anything going on because, you know, obviously, like he will, he, you know, he'll tell you this. You would get booked thinking you were going to go out that weekend. Hopefully, that the restrictions would be removed. But every Thursday, when the shows were going to go on, none of the restrictions were removed. So people had jobs Monday to Wednesday and then not Thursday through Saturday. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So that happened to most comedy clubs in the country, probably, it's except for, except for certain states like well, Florida listen, who didn't the, believe in the, the truth of the matter is, dude, is that. There were clubs that were open. Comics were canceling as much as the clubs. Were. Yeah, a hundred percent. And so Nick told us he was like, "I wanted to keep the restaurant open. We needed a, a source of income and a way to keep everything open." And then when everything opened up again, he said, "Think about it. When you go to a comedy club, you either get really good food and bad entertainment, or good entertainment and all right food. Think of another place where you can go to a comedy club, sit down in a room, and order." A grade A steak, but he's always had that menu, right? Which is 
That's what he said. That's what he always it. wanted to do. Yeah. He told he said he wanted to have the best of both worlds. He does. And he I I, I think he does. Like that. Yeah, well, that that stake every time and if it and he always comes in, he's the one who brings it to us, which is crazy also. Yeah. Like he brings us the stakes and he makes sure that everything is good before he walks out of the room to continue to sit everybody. It's what, like What what were we doing? What did we do shots of? Did we we've never been drunk together? Tequila. No, we didn't do we we've never, never been, been drunk, drunk together. together right? No. We've been high together, but not getting high together. Just yep. high in the same room a lot. Yep. Um, and then no, we took. It was the first time I'd ever taken a chilled shot of tequila, and that's when I learned from you. You were like, "Yo, take this," and I took a shot, and I was like, "That didn't taste like anything." Oh, it's delicious. And you were like, "Yeah, a chilled shot of tequila or anything like that. It makes it way easier to take a shot of." It's so good, as which is why I had to stop drinking it. Yeah, and if I ever have tequila, it only ever sits in my freezer. It's so it's so good. You know, by the way, and 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 and. I want to remind everybody that Friday night late shows, I'm starting to take mushrooms at the show. Oh yeah. He's decided that Friday night late is his shroom show, but I, so. this Friday did not get that high. Yeah. You said that and you took something around the same when we were in Austin, but also it had been a cool break since you had been, since you had done mushrooms. So Austin was the first time you'd really done something that like of I that. Think, I think I might have to do like two grams. You did one point seven. <laughs> You really think that that extra point three is going to help that much? We're going to find out. It seems. Yeah, I mean, good luck. I won't be doing anything. I really like the feeling. I like the um, experimentation of it. I won't do it forever, but you know, if you want to, if you want to see it, now would be the next six months. I think when I'll probably be probably. going hard. Yep, and I'll probably switch it up. But um, you know what I loved about these shows this weekend in Raleigh, by the way. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to try to not OCD that. Um, OCD, you know what, what I loved about the you show? Want to, you want to fix your shoelace? No, no, I'm sorry. I just won't look. Um, the, uh, you know what I loved this week about this weekend shows in Raleigh was it was all unplanned and a lot of just I think, trying new stories. And that, yeah. I'll tell you that one story about, um, you know what I'm going to add into that story about the, animals hmm. kevin bacon that fucking rabbit bunny whatever he was that why couldn't i name him bugs because your sister named him kevin bacon i thought mom no mom did i thought your mom did too but then kate was like i did and then your mom was like i don't think i did but i thought your mom did Maybe Kate came up with it and then mom decided that Kevin Bacon was better. Like, yeah. I think mom was the deciding vote, maybe. But I think because I thought I thought it was mom too, but I guess it was Kate. Feels like something that your sister might have made up. Yo, she's super funny. That's true. You know, when we were in oh no, we were we were this just happened in Raleigh. And but, by the way, we named him Kevin Bacon because he had a broken foot and his foot was loose. But also then he ended up losing his foot because he had it had been dislocated for such a long time that we took him to the vet and they had to amputate it. Yeah. So his foot was legitimately loose because it was not there <laughs> <laughs> so there was that um <laughs> you know what's so funny though when we were in raleigh this weekend there was one show remember those remember the group of gentlemen who got up to leave a little early and we were like where are you going to and, go to the drag race and they were the only words that got out of their mouth was drag race right and but remember earlier they were something about he kept saying you had something about cutting loose huh remember he screamed like you just gotta cut loose like right before they walked out do you remember that? I don't. Okay, so right before they walked out, that dude who said drag race said the same thing. He goes, you just got to cut loose because you had said you'd always wanted to do something on stage. Yeah. But we're going back and forth on it. That's why he said cut loose or it was completely irrelevant because that's also very possible. Right. And as he said cut loose, one of his buddies walked by me. And did you hear me when I was like, no joke, Kevin Bacon from Footloose just walked by us. His buddy was dressed like he was from the movie. White, plain white T-shirt, tucked in, not full acid wash blue jeans, but light blue jeans. Yeah, cowboy boots, over the boots, not tucked into the boots. Have you seen over. the original photos? Yes. Okay. Mom, mom educated me pretty well on movies. Okay. You're right. You're right. And and he had he had sunglasses on the top of his head, and he oh, and he had that, that little like like braided belt, and I was like, yo. Sh- talk about cut loose, my man. Star of Footloose just fucking walked right by us. And it was. Crazy because I laughed so hard at my own joke because nobody else heard it in the room. <laughs> but god damn it, it was great timing and super funny. And I wish the rest of you had heard it, including you. 
But that made me laugh because he was like cut loose and then fucking foot loose walked right by me. Tell me great. something, dude. Made me laugh. Um, and we're gonna wrap you up here in a couple seconds. Okay. What do you want to tell everybody? Do something good for somebody else. That's all I say every time. Yeah. I'm Support not that, a local business. Do something nice. You I'm, know. I'm not that altruistic. Find me on. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what that word means. Altruistic? Mm-hmm. It's just, you said altruistic? Altruistic. Okay. Yeah. I thought I heard out like churistic. That's why I was confused. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I think I used that word right, but I'm going to Google it right after. Still I'm not- pretty sure I used it correctly. It's in the ballpark. I couldn't tell you because I don't know what that word is. Well, now I'm doubting myself, which, which, by the way, I will tell you a lot of times I'll say a word. Do you ever say a word and you say it a couple times in a row and it doesn't sound like a word? Hundred percent. Like when you write out a word, sometimes like so many times and you look at it and you go, "Is that? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Like yeah, no, it happens to me all the time. I wrote out afar and I was like, afar, afar, afar. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a word? Afar, afar. Oh. You know what word I can never spell right? Huh. License. Like a driver's license. What about necessary? What about restaurant? Restaurant I can spell. You hit me. R-E-S-T-A. Wait, rest. That's, it's where the U goes. That's no, it. No, it, it's, it's where it's, the U goes. It's A-U-R-A-N-T. Restaurant. I think it's restaurant. R-E-S-T-A-R-A-U-N-T. Guagle I thought it was, I thought the A-U was in the first before. See, but this will get me every time. Um, no yeah. There, there's a couple words that'll get me. License, I think I got L I C E N S E. Yeah, I was right. R E S T A U R A N T. Yeah, restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. Yeah. But restaurant. Yeah, but it's not, that's not how it's spelled. Damn it. See, I wonder I, I wonder if he thinks I'm lying and he's going to like Google it himself to see if he's. For sure. Hit me. Yeah, there's a couple words that always get me. Um, yeah, sometimes kitchen's one of those where I look at it and I'm like, that is not right. I got kitchen. There's look, there's we we should have a lot of them. You know what we got to by the way next week, which we didn't okay. This week on the road, we're getting an empty map of the United States. And we're gonna Oh fill, yeah. We're gonna fill it in. Do not cheat. Do not take the test pre-test. Can I study? No studying, dude. How am I not allowed to study for a test? You always told me to study for tests. Yeah, but you but you didn't anyways. Why would That's you start now? A good point. So, but like we should go in cold and just see who can name the 50 states you're where you're going to take a lead i think is going to be the northeast is new england yeah for sure the new england states you're going to have what if we did capitals i'm better at naming them than i am oh i actually might be pretty good at that capitals really well i can name do you know the state song where you can sing all the states alabama alaska something (laughs) that's that's a no (laughs) But you know of it, you don't know it. 50 nifty United, United States, States from the 13 original, original colonies. Shout them, spout them, tell them all about them. Yeah, yeah, that one. one. And then it goes, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. Break I could, it on down. Yeah, I could do the whole thing. Really? Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. First of all, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Woo! I never thought in a million years that you would be able to do that. Can I tell you why I know that? Caitlin sang it about a gazillion times True. when we were kids. True. So what else did I do other than memorize it? Go crazy, but also memorize it. But whoever so thanks, thanks, Kate. Whoever I only know that because of her. <laughs> whoever invented the tune for that was a little all over the place. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was it. but so why is that gonna help you with capitals i feel like i know capitals of states i've done the capital test before i've done the the fill in the map before too okay ready what is the capital of rhode island Ooh, providence what is the capital of north dakota Ooh. no des moines is iowa i think it's des moines by the way des moines yep sorry i'm gonna you know i'm gonna go on a limb and say bismarck bismarck key no, 
Bismarck, North Dakota might actually be right. All right, let's do two more. Hit me with Alabama. Do you want me to Google it? Hit me with Alabama. I'm going to guess either Mo. It's Montgomery. Montgomery. That's what it is. And last one, Florida. Tallahassee. Damn it. That one's easy. Yeah, that's the only one I really know. Yeah. I don't know capitals at all. But it's funny. Like, I know I found out that Raleigh was a capital because I walked by the Capitol building this weekend. Oh, yeah. It's not Charlotte. Yep. All right. Um, all right, everybody. Comedian Josh Wolf.com for tour dates. Josh Wolf Comedy for all my socials. Mm-hmm. Check out our show, Family Tussle, on the YouTube channel. Yep. Um, this podcast will be coming out twice a week. Yep. Uh, and tell it, tell tell uh, some people about it if uh, you want to. Yeah. Um, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Um, you know, we still have people who ask us, and I'm gonna do the spiel for those of you who listen every week. I'm gonna do the spiel one more time. Um, a lot of people ask what they can do to help us. Um, and we usually don't have a lot, but the one thing we do ask if you have the time, because I know a lot of podcasts ask you to do it and you don't, and I'm guilty of that as well. If you could leave a comment, rate and subscribe, uh, and leave a review, uh, it, it helps boost our numbers and push us to the top. Um, but again, we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the people listening anyways. So thank you guys for, you know, even being here and showing love. Um, so where are we next? Oh, we're on a theater tour. Yeah. Arkansas, Kansas, Oklahoma. We'll see you guys this weekend. Yeah. And then Michigan. And then we did a, we did that already. Yeah. I was just repeating it for anybody. Okay. But again, comedian Josh Wolf.com for tour dates. Later, everybody. We love you. Deuces. Love you.